What is up Star Trek fans, hope you're having a great day and staying safe. So the STFC core team have sent the community a message. Now it's a pretty important one for a number of reasons. First it highlights how important it is for all Star Trek franchise, franchises to finally that are finally coming to Star Trek Fleet Command. Second, we can't forget about the chest, and this chest is called Star Trek's Past, Present and Future. This is what they said. This is foremost a celebration of the IP acquisition, however, and possibly even more importantly, we wanted to be extra generous because we want people to know that we know we've eared in the past. We know that we're not perfect, and that mistakes have been made along the way. We acknowledge our past leading up to our present, and we want to thank the entire player base for allowing us to work together and continuing in the game. You have all stuck with us, and we don't take that for granted. You know, while in relation to the franchise, it also highlights the kind of flaws which they've made in the game for iOS and Android. Now, they don't need to tell us everything. We know what they have done. You know, there's the price of the packs, there's the differential resources on old versus new servers, and then there's, of course, the PvP brackets. It's, it goes on and on. Scopely have created a game which is vastly off balance, but this chest really does show a glimpse of the STFC core team. It shows how much they are willing to learn, still learning, and, you know, really dealing with the issues for us, uh, the community. You know, one could argue that the arrival of the chest does in fact coexist with Badge Gate and Eve Echoes, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. The important thing to note is that this, this chest is kind of breaching the boundaries between intellectual property in Star Trek and the community. It's kind of creating that bridge there, which we can all follow and which we can all understand. I also want to kind of go into a little bit more detail here. I'll summarize as best I can with the huge details going into another video, but this is my take on the whole intellectual property thing. So Scopely have what we like to call in the music industry as a kind of sync license. So Scopely have always wanted to use the Star Trek franchise, but CBS Viacom have never allowed them fully. You know, most likely they would have had to present massive cases if they wanted to use a character like Kirk or a ship like the Enterprise, for example. So this is where the sync license really comes in. Scopely are kind of re-recording in a way the images of Star Trek in their own image. This is in the sense that this gives them greater flexibility in how they can make this work in the game. You know, because they're not actually taking the exact copy for copy of Officers and Ships from the franchises, but they are creating their own and thus they are given a sync license by CBS Viacom. Now, I believe that between Scopely and CBS Viacom, uh, they were given a master license. So this is a new license. So I will go into this later on, but first I want to get to kind of the price point here. So all of this is of course associated with fees. Sync licenses for video games are still relatively new um, in the gaming industry. You know, industry standards for fees are therefore kind of still being established and they're not really well known um, outside of these circles. But these fees currently vary depending on the on the on the developer and the publisher and kind of the leverage that the developer has. You know, the, the rate can be a flat rate or even a ro royalty-based fee. Now, a royalty-based uh, sync license could include an advance on a royalty or even a minimum guarantee or any other number of ways um, which we don't know about. Like, we, we just don't know what the details are right now. And another thing I want to go into is, of course, the scope. So the scope, um, in this sense, describes how Scopely is allowed to use the Star Trek content. The scope kind of statement, which likely 
Scopely provided to CBS Viacom when they, when they were creating Star Trek Fleet Command is that the scope statement will include the title and the brief description of the video game and the limit of use of that content to the game. So the fact is that they were kind of treading, treading on eggshells and most likely Scopely didn't want to create too much that they would scare CBS Viacom off away. So Scopely most likely wanted to keep the, the, the use, the scope of the use as broad as possible to allow for current and even future distribution channels um, for and within Star Trek Fleet Command. Now we know this hasn't always been the case and it kind of makes sense. STFC wasn't a widely developed game like Star Trek Online, but in fact, the player base has grown. So now let's go over the terms. There's very little that we know about the terms between the developers and CBS Viacom. It could be the case that developers are only allowed to release new content at a certain time uh, behind other games and other Star Trek content. But we will have to wait and see what happens with that. So in essence, what developers and CBS Viacom have done in the past few months is incredible. There's a whole boatload of mistakes which the developers have made along the way. And actually, it's cost the player a lot. People have left the game. Uh, people have joined the game. People are just frustrated with the game. But a lot of people out there, a lot of people love Star Trek Fleet Command. And that's something which really does brighten up um, somebody's day when they're logging in, um, especially for the first time. Uh, now though, you know, back into the IP, the clearance of future IP or, you know, intellectual property seems to be out of the way. This chest, which they brought in, um, this chest is the first step in bringing the STFC community kind of closer together. And I'm really super interested to see what else they do. Um, that is it for now, guys. Don't forget to, of course, like and subscribe to more of my content. And please, please, please stay safe out there. All right, guys, see ya.